Today, I have my new comic books and I have a piece of mail to open. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in my building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the building, DJ back in Lynx. effect, and back with another video. And today, I have my new comic books and I have a piece of mail to open. Actually, this piece of mail is a GP win from one of the mystery boxes that I opened and I have yet to upload by the way but I opened it and this was the grand prize from that so before we crack this bad boy open let's look at the comic books so first off I picked up Wonder Woman uh, number one future state Wonder Woman number one or DC future state Wonder Woman number one full disclosure my LCS Royal Collectibles didn't get any of the DC books last Wednesday so I was fortunate enough I work close by to the to Midtown Comics to the flagship store in Times Square and they have an abundance of books. They literally have everything. So I was fortunate enough to go in Tuesday of this week. So a couple of days after New Comic Book Day when everything was sold out and they had one copy of this Wonder Woman number one that I'm excited to read. They also had one copy of this DC Future State, the next Batman. So super lucky I was able to pick these two up. I didn't get any of the others. They had some super, it's funny because they only had one Batman, one Wonder Woman. They had a stack of Superman <laughs> and a stack of Flash. So man, what are you gonna do? So then keeping up with that, I picked up this DC Future State Teen Titans number one. Yeah, it's Teen Titans number one. This is uh, the B cover, I believe. There's a lot of spec behind this book. I think there's a couple of first appearances in there. Uh, Ted X, Red X, something X. Only X I acknowledge is DMX but there's something in here and then I picked up just because this is a badass cover um, DC Future State Justice League number one this is a primo cover whoa I don't know what just happened there this is a primo cover that's pretty dope and then of course uh, this B cover of DC Future State the Dark Detective number one that's dope and Oh yeah, my bad. I just totally whatever. So the first two books were from last week and then from Teen Titans on, that's from this week. So that was able to pick those up. And then for today, as well as those three books, I was able to pick up a uh, serial number one, an indie book by Terry Moore. I'm actually not keeping this. I picked this up from my man Dave from Mark Spector Comics. So he needed that. I was just like, yo, I work like a block away from it on comics and they always have everything. Lo and behold, I got there. I got there pretty early this morning and they had, this was actually the last copy on the shelf too. And I was just like, I saw it. I made a beeline for it and everything just slowed down. And I was just like hoping to get it before somebody else got their dirty little mitts on this comic because I knew I had to send it to Dave at Mark Spector Comics. So this is going to you, buddy. Um, also picked up Ha Ha number one. And this book is hot. This book is Ha Ha Hot. Sorry, I had to, I had to. Uh, so this is the A cover. And then I also picked up the B cover. So there's a lot of spec behind this book. It's a number one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to it. Uh, so, but it's there, I don't know. And this this one is definitely a 9-8 candidate. So pick that up. Of course, Immortal Hulk 42 also released today. This is the Alex Ross cover. So this is, uh, you know, I'm loving this cover. Oh shit, I didn't even really pay attention to this cover. <laughs> this, is, this is dope. I uh, can't wait to crack that open. And then of course my King and Black tie-in. So Planet of the Symbiotes number one. This was a dope cover. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's actually really, really cool. King and Black Thunderbolts number one. Uh, I was just like, ah, let me just get that. <laughs> Don't really have any excitement for it, but I was just like, let me get that. I'm getting all the King and Black tie-ins apparently. And then King and Black, Gwenum versus Carnage, number one. So this is a cool cover. I don't remember if this is the A cover or the B cover or whatever, but this is um, this is this is pretty cool. I think I'm I'm doing all of the King and Black tie-ins apparently. I think the only ones that I missed and that was on purpose was uh, I think the Black Cat tie-in and the Spider Woman Spider Woman tie-in. No offense to Black Cat or Spider Woman, but that's just never been my bag. But yeah, so let's get to this. This, I opened a comic book mystery box from Bad Guy Comics, and that's coming out next week. So I opened that the other day. Um, it's coming out next week, but 
I won the GP. So the GP of that round of mystery boxes was another mystery box or a couple of mystery comics. Uh, he put everybody into the raffle. My name was chosen. I'm trying to do this without making a lot of noise. So yeah, my name was chosen and I was just like, hell yeah, son, pass that dog. So I don't know how many comics um, are here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try to get this open without breaking anything. And then... Yeah. I hope everyone had a great day today. I'm doing all right. I'm just tired. Work. <laughs> Work has been murdered, just like the Green Goblin said. But, eh, what are you gonna do? So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mystery comics that I don't, I don't know. I'm excited to get this, but uh, I'll show it to you. I'm not gonna put the last holds or anything like that on it because this was free. So, here we go. What do we have? The Amazing Spider-Man 203. She's dazzling, she's deadly, and Spidey's caught in the middle. Guest starring the sensational Dazzler. Cue the disco music. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Decent condition, can't complain. Always love some Amazing Spider-Man. Thanks for What do we got here? Captain America and the Black Panther, number 21. Marvel double feature number 21. Uh, it's warped here, but this is a classic, phenomenal cover. If you're asking my humble opinion, not sure who's the artist on this. Um, aside from it uh, warping, this is pretty cool. Dope, dope cover. Wow. Thanks for that. What do we have? Logan's Run number three. <laughs> I'm actually looking to pick up Logan's Run number six, which is the first standalone Thanos story. Thanks to Gary B for putting me on. But Logan's Run number three, this is pretty cool. Will Logan and Jessica's escape end before it's begun? Cool. Nice old school books. What do we have? Captain Marvel 48, and that spine roll is crazy, dogs. Uh, other than that, this is in pretty decent condition, as though Marvel doesn't have enough trouble battling a renegade Kree sentry. Now he also has to face the claws of the cheetah. I just hear cheetah, and I think of Wonder Woman 84, and I get sad, because that movie was pretty bad. I wanted it to be good. Ugh. But anyway, that's cool, Captain Marvel. Um, next we go. What do we have? Spawn number six. You know you gotta love that spawn. In great condition. It's a little dirty there, but who cares? First appearance of Overkill. Oh man, Overkill. In the Spawn cartoon, when he was just like, I'll see you at midnight or something like that. And then he like burst through and he was like, it's exactly midnight in Nairobi. And just proceeded to beat the shit out of Spawn. That's dope. Overkill. Yo, this is a, a dope GP, uh, mystery box man what do we have witchblade number six from michael turner i'm not a witchblade aficionado so i don't know if there's any significance to this never been a witchblade fan if i'm gonna be completely honest so we'll just move right along next book up i guess this is the last book out of this grand prize mystery box win from bad guy comics What do we have? Tales of Witchblade. I just shit it on Witchblade. <laughs> Tales of the Witchblade, number two, by Image and Top Cow. A nice Image and Top Cow collab. This cover is pretty dope. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, man. Today was a good day for me. I, I can't complain. When you get a bunch of comic books, you cannot complain about that. So, my new comic books, my mystery box gp win which oh no that's just this uh mystery bo box free prize was just, maybe it was a bit better than the mystery box that's coming up i don't know i don't even remember what it was i got i do so much freaking mystery boxes that i i, I don't even remember but um 
yeah so just real quick just wanted to announce that we hit our 500 milestone two weeks ago we hit 600 this week which is crazy so be on the lookout for a surprise live i'm not going to schedule live or anything like that i'm just going to do one of these days some random time i'm going to go live and then we're going to give something out it's not going to be on a grand scale like the 500 milestone but i just want to give something out something small I, I haven't decided what it is maybe it's a mystery box who knows but uh just be on the lookout for that and it's crazy that i, I passed 600 in in just two weeks so yeah with that said ladies and gentlemen as always subscribe like hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me and as always most importantly spread love because it's the brooklyn way peace